Hello and welcome to our Apprenticeship Parent and Guardian event. It's lovely to have you here and hopefully you'll have some questions for us at the end. Um, thank you for attending. My name's Laura and I'm Head of Career Development here at St Helens Chamber. Um, for those who don't know, St Helens Chamber is a not-for-profit organisation and our mission is to be an inspiring social enterprise, creating opportunity and success in our community. So what that means, we really want to support young people kickstart their career across St Helens and the Liverpool City Region boroughs and really help them elevate and get the support that's needed to start an apprenticeship training or even a job within the local area. So I'm going to pass over to our colleague Trav who's from our apprenticeship team and what he's going to do is tell you a little bit about what an apprenticeship is, how an apprenticeship can help you and kind of dispel some myths for you. Hello everyone, so why choose an apprenticeship? It's, an, it's a practical way of learning. An apprenticeship does not just develop your knowledge, unlike traditional methods of higher education learning, it develops vital skills and behaviours too. And it's linked to a job, so it gives you that hands-on experience developing key employability skills needed to succeed. And it's a great way of adding value to your CV, which can set individuals apart from others. Now, where can an apprenticeship take you? The sky is the limit for apprenticeships. After completing your apprenticeship, you could continue to train for an advanced, higher or degree level apprenticeship and ultimately you could go to university or take an additional professional qualification that is specific to your cho uh, chosen role. Okay, so these are some of the apprenticeships that we offer. In the, under the professional services umbrella, as I call it, we have the AAT Assistance Accountants, which is a level three qualification. We have AAT Accounts and Finance Assistance, which is a level two qualification. We have Business Administrator, which is level three. Customer Service Practitioner, level two. Customer Service Specialist, level three. Teen Leader slash Supervisor, level three. Improvement Technician Level 3 and Digital Marketer Level 3. They are on the professional services. Then we have further apprenticeships under Social Care, Child Care and Education. Now, under this umbrella, we have Adult Care Worker, which is also a Level 2 qualification. We have the Lead Adult Care Worker, which is a Level 3. Lead Prof uh, Practitioners Adult Care, which is a Level 4. Leader in Adult Care, which is a Level 5. Children, Young People and Families Practitioner, Level 4. Children, Young People and Families Manager, and that one's a Level 2. Then we move on to the Early Years Practitioner, which is a Level 2. Early Years Educator, which is Level 3. And then we have a Teaching Assistant, which is also Level 3. There's just a couple more that we have. One of the ones that we have is also, we have a Salon. So we have the Hairdressing, which is a Hair Professional Level 2 and an advanced and creative hair professional level three. And the final one that we do is warehousing and manufacturer, which is lean manufacturing operative, which is a level two, and the supply chain warehouse operative level two. So there's quite a very um, amount of qualifications and apprenticeships that are available just under St. Helens Chamber. Perfect. So how can we help? So we understand that starting an apprenticeship can be a daunting time for anyone and especially young people at the moment that are completing their GCSEs and their A-levels and that some people might not be ready to move straight into an apprenticeship and might need a little bit more support, decide what type of careers for them and gain some valuable work experience. So we've got an answer to that. We have our Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme that is designed to help and develop our young people's skills and knowledge and behaviours to help them gain work experience maths and English qualifications and sector based experience. These programmes are delivered over 12 weeks and we aim to match our young people to the right role in organisation whilst delivering training in a fun and engaging way. Graduates of our Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme get exclusive access to a wide range of apprenticeship opportunities that are not available anywhere else. So I'd like to hand over to our team to tell you a little bit more about these fantastic programmes. So first up, I'd like to introduce you to Neil. Thanks a lot, Laura. Uh, so good afternoon. So my name is Neil Rigby and I'm the Young People's Development Team Manager and I oversee the construction, manual skills and hairdressing settings. So just to talk further about our hairdressing programme, our traineeship programme, our traineeship programme is a 13 week skills development programme and it consists of the following. So first and foremost, we've got two weeks of intense work preparation. Um, so our hairdressing learners who come onto the programme will understand the skills and qualities needed to progress into hairdressing. We'll be able to work on time management. 
um, work in the team and build confidence in that setting. Um, they'll be able to set themselves specific goals, write a CV. Um, they'll be able to sort of improve the confidence in terms of interviews. So when it does come to that apprenticeship application, they can nail that. And they'll understand the benefits of undertaking work experience um, and the benefits of um, undertaking an apprenticeship. Then they'll move on to our hairdressing salon where they will complete a level one award in an introduction to hair and beauty. This is a four week programme which will teach the learners everything about hairdressing as an industry, the different types of roles that you can progress into. It will teach the and conditioning and the different massage techniques. It will also teach you about the different hair up styles on both wet and dry hair styling, um, as well as the plaits and twists and all the techniques used for that, really to give you the skills to progress onto work experience, which is the next stage. Learners will undertake seven weeks of work experience where all the knowledge, all the skills and behaviours gained throughout the previous six weeks of our programme will be implemented in a real life working environment. Here learners will see what a salon is like, will be able to try before they progress into the apprenticeship. And at the end of that, we'll be, get, we'll be given an interview and we'll get um, a reference from the employer, which will support their apprenticeship application. And throughout the program, learners who um, haven't achieved the GCSE results don't need to worry about that because they'll go into our functional skills program in which they'll be taught math and English, which will be related and adapted towards the hairdressing sector so that they'll gain confidence in that area as well. On to our manual skills program. So anybody who wants to come into our construction training centre and apply for our manufacturing and warehousing roles and construction roles will undertake the following program. Complete work preparation where they'll understand the skills and qualities needed within their sector. They'll complete some labour match in terms of that sector, such as um, entry requirements, pay skills, what they could be looking into from starter to a more experienced staff member as well. They'll work on time management, um, organisational skills, as well as setting goals. Again, they'll um, develop a CV and become in an interview situation as well so that they can apprentice job vacancy down. They'll then progress on to our in option um, in which they'll get a level of construction and the opportunity to get a health, health and safety within a environment uh, qualification as well, which leads to a learn again in the CSCS Green Labourers card. And that is a card what's mandatory for anybody who wants to work on a construction site. Just going back to our level one award in construction, Learners will complete activities in the following uh, joinery where they will produce a timber frame, they'll make a timber product, um, and that's where it sort of embeds our um, manufacturing skills. They'll activities, tiling, plastering, and painting and decorating. That level one qualification uh, on completion, that's what they'll achieve. They'll then go on to work experience within the chosen setting, whether it's warehousing, manufa manufacturing or construction. And although that we don't touch upon um, roofing, plumbing and electrical at present, we do have work experience uh, um, um, employers who look to recruit those as well. So we go above and beyond what our qualification delivers. Again, Math and English is embedded into our delivery throughout, but learners who don't achieve the GCSEs um, uh, in Math and English are able to launch our functional skills programme where the, where the learning will be adapted to include sort of construction, maths and English as well, so that the learners can improve their understanding of that. I'm just going to pass on to Carl now, who will talk more about our professional services. Thanks, Neil. Um, I'm Carl, I'm the Young People's Development Team Leader, and, and I obviously oversee the Professional Services Traineeship Programme. Um, and this is age 16 to 24s um, and basically what we're doing on this part is we're, we're going to be looking around work preparation, employability skills and personal development. All learners will go through a level two business, business administration qualification which will last a, at least a week long. We'll do All learners will have guest speakers that will come in and again similar to the other fast track programs all learners will take, take part in master English sessions. And then also a part of that is obviously we have a seven week pro a week seven week work experience. So again, that that's all about pushing learners into the different side of. So maybe it could be childcare, it could be business administration, it could be digital marketing, accountancy. So on this side, it's everything to do with professional services. This is what we look to run. And as Trav said earlier on, this this fits in really nicely with what the apprentices that we already have out there. So obviously, they could potentially, for us, it's a it's a push into the right direction of pushing learners into the professional services. Fabulous. Thanks, Carl. Yeah, so, 
So we understand as well that starting an apprenticeship or training, you might need some financial support for the young person that you're supporting. And we want to help with that. So all young people who attend our Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme will get a weekly travel pass, £50 Love to Shop pro vouchers once they've been on programme for six weeks, and up to £100 Love to Shop vouchers once they move into an apprenticeship job or further training. So what we want to do there is to reward progression and reward achievement. We then also have further support for those that more, more need, whose personal circumstances might dictate that they need a little bit more support. So this can include up to £25 a week learning allowance, free meals, access to clothing support, and any additional support that you might need, such as laptop hire, help with travel further afield, and anything that you think that might be a barrier to learning. If you'd like to find out more about our bursary and eligibility, you can email us at apprenticeships at stheleneschamber.com. So now I'd like to move on to our Apprenticeship Ambassador. We're delighted to be joined by Laura from EMR Group, who is going to tell us a little bit more about her experience with apprenticeships, apprenticeships within her organisation. So I'm going to pass over to Laura. Thanks so much. Let's see if we can um, share my screen now. Let's have a go. Okay, wonderful. Um, and as explained, I'm, I'm not part, um, from St. Helens, St Helens Chamber, so it's not going to be anywhere near as polished. I apologise. Um, but I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight into um, what EMR group offers. But also in my position, I am the chair for the Northwest Apprenticeship Ambassador Network. It's quite the mouthful, I know. Um, but what that means is that we're a number of employers that come together to really champion and promote apprenticeships and to really understand what information um, parents, carers, um, or even our um, soon-to-be apprentices, what sort of information they need. So I elbowed my way into this into this um, presentation, I have to be honest. Um, I'm delighted that I was so I was so welcomed. And I've got a little bit of an ask. I'll, um, on the screen there you'll see that there is a QR code. What that do is it what that does is it'll link you through to um, a, a a messaging service where actually you can capture what I want to know is what words do you associate with apprenticeships that will really help us to tailor um, the information that we're bringing out to you and to really help champion because if any if you sat here listening to everything that's just been gone through everything sounds really great but sometimes we have to break that down into what does that mean you know level two level three I've, I've just done a level five what what does it mean um and it's aligned to your GCSEs your A levels how that how you can progress and you've seen some great opportunities um that are already supported in in, in St Helens area from my point of view um at EMR we offer um apprenticeship opportunities right from the level two GCSE up to degree level um, we I've, I've actually got one on screen at the moment which is a, a, a level three so a level business apprentice that's actually in our shipping um, department which can take you anywhere from accountancy um, to uh, to our commercial team and um, to back into the to the site and to, uh, to logistics so from that one entry there are so many different opportunities that you can that you can go into um, and to dispel a couple of those myths as well you'll notice the pay isn't is it too shabby I think sometimes with apprentices it can be a little bit of worry of mm, well actually can I even afford to do this um and you know there, there are there are committed employers out there that really want to support um you've seen a number of apprenticeship opportunities that are available there are over 700 standards that are there um EMR was actually part of a trailblazer group where we we championed our own sector specific apprenticeship so we've got the metal recycling general operative and the metal recycling technical manager Come and check us out if you've ever thought about going into metal recycling. I think you'll be really surprised. Um, but I just wanted to really jump on the back of, of, of some great information that's going out there um, and give you some insight into potentially what, what could be there, what, um, what could help and support. And obviously, you've got a great source here with, with St. Helens Chamber already. Um, has anybody from the team got any questions or has anybody got any questions out there that would maybe like to ask me? Just to, um, what makes, I'll ask a question, when you interview someone for an apprenticeship, what would you, what would be the advice you would give them? I think it's really important because there's so many different opportunities out there. We get some quite generic, um, we get some quite generic support and advice when we're in, we're in schools and things. But really look at what that opportunity is available because you're starting a journey with us as an employer. And we need to be invited into your world. We need to understand what it is that you're bringing as well because I've um, I've given this little advice before, and that it's it's been a little while since some of us have been at school, and you know I got I got 
A's, B's, I got, I got letters. I didn't get numbers. I don't, under, I don't understand what those are. Um, so sometimes it's about trying to translate a lot of this as well. And if you can start with the apprenticeship opportunity, what the job role is, start picking out key words and thinking about um, examples because it does, it will translate over. Um, if, if, you know, if it's asking for somebody to be organised, you get yourself, maybe you get yourself to college each day, you get yourself to school. If you're an after school club, you've got to be on time. Um, even if that's corralling, you know, your parents to give you a lift, you, you've actually got to set that up. Um, any kind of, I've even given the example of if you're an online gamer, you know, you don't even have to sit foot out of the house. You've got to show up and be there with maybe a team or I use that example because of my husband, you see. But um, some people never grow up. But that's, it's one of those where whatever it is that you're doing you will find a link to that job and if you don't find link maybe that's not the right job for you maybe it's looking about looking and focusing rather than sending mass emails it's about focusing on what's really going to meet your values in metal recycling we're all about sustainability recycling not necessarily you don't have to be necessarily interested in metal for example does that help yep fabulous fantastic so if you can just stop sharing yours and i'll share my final slide please laura Just. It's where we need some smooth transition music, don't we? Just to cover the fact that <laughs> <laughs> Teams is very difficult to navigate sometimes. OK, so what next? So if you like what you've heard today um, from myself or Laura, Laura has also popped her details in the previous one as well, and we'll make sure we attach it to the video link. Um, but if you like what you've heard, please email us on apprenticeships at stemtalentschamber.com and one of our career coaches will be in touch to have a chat with you and the young person that you're supporting to let you know a little bit about our opportunities and the opportunities from Laura as well. But thank you for listening to our presentation and please do reach out if there's anything we can do to support you further.